yards after the catch, so they've done a really good job, I think, of just tailoring the offense around Jalen. That's what makes him look more comfortable. What someone like him who can make plays with his legs but also likes to, likes to throw shots and shot plays, how do you kind of strike that balance of, you know, let's make sure he doesn't just with his legs but also then going over the top? When he, when he can. I think it has to be a, a good balance with, you know, the shot plays and the running. Like, when you're responsible for those shot plays, mainly just our corners and safeties on the outside, you know, we know the challenge that we have this week. The guys have to go up and be able to make a play. Uh, they, they get opportunities when the ball is up. It's an opportunity for us to go up and make the play. And that's, how, that's how I view it. And when it comes to him scrambling around, right, that's uh, all 11. Uh, it starts with our, our D-line being where they're supposed to be and guys who are responsible to go get the quarterback. We just have to do our job. You know, we can't make a bigger deal out of it than it is. Everybody has to do their job, be where they're supposed to be. And we play defense as all 11 groups swarming. That's what's going to help us you know, defend the quarterback running. Yeah, they have a, their offensive line, they, are they capable of meaning your defensive line is you know, forcing violence? Their offensive line is the, is the, the strength of that team. Uh, you have two veteran guys there in Kelsey and, and Lane who've been together for a while and they anchor that line. They've done a really good job. Very physical group. Bigger, big offensive line, physical offensive line who tries to get after it. And look, we're going to get, they're a really good team, but also our guys are good too. So it's going to be a physical matchup. We know we'll get their best. They're going to get our best as well. You were there. What about your defensive line about staying in their rush lane since that Raiders game? They've done a good job. The Raiders game was was not good. You know, we allowed the quarterback to get out way too way too much, uh, but the guys have done a really good job over the past couple of weeks and being on it. And we'll have to have that same focus, that same relentless mindset to be where we're supposed to be as we're rushing the quarterback and having awareness that Jalen could get out and he may get out, but nobody's going to panic if he does get out one time. We know this guy's going to make plays. There's a reason why he's up for the NFL MVP. He's a really good player, so he's going to make some plays. You were in Philly with early with Fletcher and Brandon Graham in, in their careers. What did you see from them back then? And is it sort of, did you see this for that, this kind of success they've had? Uh, yeah, Fletcher and Brandon have, have always been just playmakers. They always played on the other side of the line of scrimmage. I know Fletcher, when he first came in as a rookie, you saw it right away. The talent that he had, the strength that he had, he's separated himself. And so he's been a playmaker for you know, over 10 years in the league and he's been consistent throughout his career. Then Brandon Graham on the edge, you know, they probably tried to get rid of him a few times, but he still finds a way to stick on there and still is able to get after the quarterback. So it's impressive to see what BG has done for his entire career there in Philly. Uh, very guy, a guy who's been very disruptive. And they, they Fletcher and BG, they don't change. They're still getting after it, getting after the quarterback, making plays. So I know it's going to be a tough challenge for offense. What kind of unique challenges uh, does A.J. Brown present? Yeah, A.J., the, the first thing is his size and strength. That's the one thing that separates him from a lot of receivers. But not only that, like when he catches the ball, you know, he turns into a different gear, right? His run after catch, it's been pretty dynamic to watch this year. So that's where he's separate. He's big where he can go down the field and uh, make plays on the deep balls. But also, he's just catching the five-yard routes and turning it upfield and turning that into an explosive. That's where he's been really good this year. Did Coach. Packers feel like there was extra juice yesterday or did it feel like business as usual? It's business as usual. And that's what I love about our guys. Uh, every time we go out to practice, the way our guys work each and every day, it's consistent. And that's what it takes, right? Not making it bigger than what it is. We understand the stakes, understand where we are. We're thankful to be playing at this time. But we also understand that we have to go out and execute and play really good football. On Sunday, we have to be the best team within that three and a half hour. Coach, you show a lot of emotion on the field and the players seem to respond. Why do you feel it's so important to, to show that? And do you think they respond more to you because you are so emotionally involved from what we see on TV? I'm emotionally involved because I'm excited when these guys make plays. I know the work that they put in. I know how much effort, how much time, how much sacrifice these players put in. And when we go out there on Sunday, the whole world gets to see that, right? I've been seeing it all week and I'm just excited for everyone else to see who our guys are. And I'm excited to see guys make plays, right? Football is meant to be fun. 
that's what football is about. So you got to have fun playing football, and that's what our guys do. You see them flying around. They have fun. They have fun playing with each other. That's what football is always, always meant, right? It's always meant to be played in a fun manner, and we're going to have fun playing football on Sunday. Brandon Graham was telling reporters in Philly yesterday that when he played with you, that you would be calling out basically what the offense was going to do before they did it. And, you know, they, they, so you could sort of tell that you had that aptitude. Were you thinking of being a coach then? What was your time in Philly like to you? That's how I've always kind of studied the game. I've always tried to pick up on offensive tendencies. And for me, it's always about helping the guys around me. I felt like always if I can help the guys next to me just play a little quicker or know their assignment, like then if they're at their best and I'm playing at my best, then collectively we can go and win games. So that's what that was always about, like calling out plays, whatever tips I had or indicators, making sure not only that I just held them all to myself, but I shared them with the guys around me because of it's because this is a team sport and we win together. So that's what you know, BG is talking, is speaking of there. And the time, my time in Philly, it was great. Uh, he had a really good team, good, great guys, great teammates there in Philly. Uh, it was a great time there. Uh, made the playoffs one year there in Philly you know, under Chip Kelly. It was under two great head coaches, Chip Kelly, Andy Reid, guys I learned a lot from. So uh, really good time there in Philly. What, what, what do you quality? think the Warriors and what the environment's gonna be like, or do you think last week's, last year's week two is enough to the environment, it'll it'll be hostile. It'll be loud, right, as it should be. NFC Championship game, right, we're in their stadium. We're on their turf. We understand it's going to be hostile. But you also have to understand you block out all of those distractions and you just go and play the best football you can play for three and a half hours. What quality um, comes to mind when, when you hear uh, young or what, what's the What jumps out to you about him? Growth. That's one thing that Demo has done throughout this entire year, right? He's he's shown growth, and that's what that's what being a professional is all about, right? It's where you start out as a rookie. It doesn't matter how you continue to push yourself each and every day to be better, and that's what Demo has done. He's gotten better. He's gained more confidence, and you see it for the past two games. He's went out and made two big plays that have helped us to win playoff games and move on. So it's just the growth. And it's the mindset to get better. That's where Demo has allowed himself to really help our team. Some of these defensive backs can, you, can get down in the dumps at the, at the big plays made against them. How is he in, in that regard about being resilient and, and not getting too far down? Right. Playing a corner position is, is one of the toughest positions because the spotlight is always on you. You're, you're always highlighted as that one-on-one -on -one matchup. So the first thing for a corner is you have to have a – a swagger. You have to have a self confidence about you because all you're going to get beat at some point. But it's not about going in the tank. How are you going to respond to the next play? They make plays. Other guys get paid. You go against some of the the best athletes in the world play receiver in the NFL. So you're going to they're going to make some plays. But how many plays can you make? How resilient can you be? You have to have you know that next play mentality when you're playing corner, and you have to be unshakable when you are in that position because. If you are shaken by one play, it's going to lead to more negative plays. So you have to be able to move on from one bad play and continue to play, continue to play, continue to play, and things are going to shake out for you. Let me go ahead. Adrian Brown doesn't seem like he's been completely healthy. A lot of guys probably like that this time of year. I think he was dealing with a hamstring when he played y'all in December last year. What did he have to do that made tons of separation to do things? Your memories of what he did in that game. From last year playing against AJ, I remember him just making some very physical plays, contested catches, right? And that's where you have to be physical with him. Again, he's a big body receiver who can go up and make tough catches. So you have to challenge him at every point. You have to stay sticky. You have to challenge him. That's how you make plays against him. You go ahead. Out, of, out of 19 games, I think you had a turnover, a takeaway, and hit him 16 of them. Uh, you know, a lot of teams that have as many takeaways you do get like an avalanche, five, six, and then maybe go games out. How, how are you able to be so consistent? Well, what's the key to that? Getting takeaways. The, consist the consistency for us in takeaways is it's who we are every every day, every week. We always talk about the ball, and the ball is everything. And if you take the ball away, 
you're going to win games. And that's the most important factor you know, on Sunday. It doesn't matter. We can take the ball away. We can create more turnovers than the Eagles right, will win this game. And that's what it will always be about. It won't change. The, the history of ball, it's been proven, right? You take the ball, you win the game. So that's our mindset each and every week. That's our, that's our key to victory. That's our goal every week. How many times can we take the ball and put our – can we score with it or can we put our offense in a favorable position to score? All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.